marching band was what really made me connect with music when I was growing up in high school. And so when it came time to choose where I wanted to go to school, I knew that I wanted to be a music major and I knew that I wanted more out of being in a marching band. Being able to maintain that name of incomparable is what really drives all 300 plus members to really push the limits, push themselves to just become the best that they can be. We do a full drum corps style show in that it just takes a different level of discipline. It could get tedious, but just the way we hold ourselves and the way we keep pushing forward, I think, uh, is unique to the program itself. So this year's show is called Paint It Black. On a very basic level, it's relating to our closer piece, which is Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. But it's themed off of this enchantress witch who uh, is breaking free and casting spells and wreaking havoc. We had the concept of, of dark um, that we were initially working with. And I've, I've had this idea um, for the, the Paint It Black tune for, for a couple of years now, and it, it seemed that everything else we were packaging together, um, it, would, it would make a, a good fit for this particular show. Well, past shows were either countries or elements, where they were just concepts. But this year, we decided to go more of a route that was based off of a character. And the whole show has these dark connotations and these very evil and mysterious nuances about it. Throughout the show, the main character manipulates members of the band as well as parts of the field and the music. It's very artistic and um, it was a little darker than we normally go, uh, literally and figuratively. In the beginning, they have the band do this whole ritual to um, summon this demon from below. There were a lot of conversations about what to do with the ballad, uh, and that really kind of became the biggest point of discussion for us in the planning process. And we thought that we could somehow manifest this dark idea and, and have some fun with it without it being so much of a downer. And the cool thing was that we were able to achieve a lot of that. At the end, um, she casts her final spell and it covers the entire band in black. 
they are covered by her spell and she is the only one left standing. There's a lot more fabric than we've ever used. I mean, we always go big with the color guard stuff, but this was uh, big, like, stretched across the whole band. That was wild. It was crazy. <laughs> Every year is special and places special or unique demands on the ensemble. This year it was everything had to be finished for September 17th. And that was just a crazy um, expectation because we had already extended the pregame show, which typically we're able to teach in an evening. And then the exhibition show, the Paint It Black show, also needed to be completed so that we could do some full kind of presentation for the Bands of America show that same weekend. So by the time we got out to Pittsburgh on September 17th, we had about 20 minutes of show on the field, complete with choreography and most of the things that we're usually adding in during October. At band camp, I think the energy within the group understood how we're going to be able to cradle everyone with the ballad, nice little tearjerker, and then just completely open up the floodgates on the sound, uh, the quality, the passion, the drive within this entire show for the closer. This has been the most energetic, forward, fast-paced, narrative that I've been a part of. But not surprising, the kids always manage a way to step up and uh, take care of the business we need to do. Pittsburgh. You think Pittsburgh, you think the Steelers, you think of the gorgeous setting around. It's a beautiful city, um, a hardworking city. Um, and I guess that just serves as a motif for what uh, we came to display um, for the home opener against the Bengals. Uh, we've walked into some pretty big venues before, and the cool thing about our group is people know the weight of it, but they also carry themselves to the utmost respect. They walk with grace, they know exactly what they need to do, when they need to do it. all lined up, the energy was there, and gates open, we're ready to go, it's our time to shine. The kids, uh, you know, they were up for it though, they said, all right, you got a minute to get out there and three minutes to perform, they ran out there with a lot of enthusiasm. Steelers fans, please welcome to Heinz Field, the Westchester University Golden Rams marching band. The weather was actually starting to turn. I hear the rim shots from the back. They all just like, ah, <laughs> And it's buckets at this point. The plumes are soaked. The uniforms are soaked. My gloves are drenched. I was living. I loved that moment. Rain, if anything, 
makes it better because we get so excited and we're like, yeah, we're going to kill it in this rain. This is going to be a great performance. Like I say, I don't, I'm not sure that uh, you'd even know that it was raining uh, if you weren't there, but it's kids, man. They just do what they have to do and had a good time doing it, so. It was absolutely insane. I mean, I'm never going to forget walking out on the field with the three other drum majors and just this huge dome surrounding you and everyone going nuts. And right behind you, you have 324 people who are ready to blow the faces off of every person in the crowd. There's nothing better than that. Uh, Ariana Grande was there and uh, got some publicity uh, about uh, how well the band performed and uh, yeah, we, we had a blast. And there's nothing better than being around the people that you've been around and worked so hard with and developed these strong bonds and be able to, you know, nationally display it for everyone to see and be incredibly proud of it. Everything we put out, we put out from the heart and Pittsburgh was a really big representation of that. It was definitely one of the most favorite parts of my college career. Great job again. Well done. Woo. Rock Pittsburgh. Second time this afternoon. Way to go. We all go in this for the betterment of ourselves, for the organization, and for the end product that we put out for the fans. You're not competing against other bands. The only person you will ever compete against is yourself. You're going to strive to push yourself to be better, to be perfect, you know, to be incomparable, and go through all of these stories and missions that the band does as a whole. By you bettering yourself, you're not only bettering the band, but you're also helping the people to the left or right of you. You're, you're motivating them to be better through your own personal motivation. And through the friendships that we build and the family that we build throughout the season, we, we want to get better for each other so we can look back on it and see, wow, look what we did, look what we accomplished. Like, I did this for you. We really measure it against ourselves in terms of the level of excellence we're able to achieve from week to week and by the impression we're able to, to make on any audience. It's one of those things that even though uh, there's no competitive edge to it, we get to go and just perform and just play our hearts out. And, you know, it, I think that fuels the drive, being able to see the types of reactions we can draw out of the audience members, especially the kids in the high school bands that we get to perform for. You feel like a rock star, for one thing. Um, <laughs> it takes me back to when I was in high school. I know what it felt like to watch Westchester Marching Band and how excited they made me feel. And being able to do that for the kids and knowing that some of the kids at CRS are going to be in this band, it's just really inspiring. I want to pass the torch. I guess at its core, it's entertainment. That's why we're out there at halftime, to, uh, to entertain the crowd. And if we're able to do that each week, then we've accomplished our mission. I'm gonna miss the eight to fives, and I'm going to miss 
the first step exercise and <laughs> I'm going to miss dynamic stretching and all of the dorky things that we complain about during rehearsal. I'm going to miss all of that. I'm going to miss a lot of things. Um, the energy of performing, the consistency of having rehearsal Monday, Wednesday, Friday and seeing those people that make bands special and I guess I'm going to miss that a lot. I'm not going to cry. Oh God. <laughs> You know, marching bands where you get the starts, where you make the friends, where you find out that you want to be great and you want to take it to that next level, and it's, it's the relations I'm going to miss, I think. The university in and of itself has granted us an opportunity to go to these venues and represent on a, a large scale, and that's what we do, and we do it really well. And now we present for your entertainment the Westchester University Incomparable Gold Marching Band!